Phantom Pain and Treatment Are you experiencing any pain after you have had a limb amputated? The pain isn't a delusion, but real. Technically speaking, the part of your body is missing, but you are still experiencing the pain in that part of your body, which isn't even there. Weird, huh? Well, if you are wondering, this condition is termed as phantom pain in medical terminology. Although it has received some light recently, it still remains a poorly understood topic with a medical condition that is difficult to treat. What is phantom pain? Phantom pain is referred to as a neuropathic pain that is experienced in the body part, which is no longer present in the body. Sensations like throbbing, piercing, tingling, and pinpricking are the most frequently experienced ones in the case of phantom pain. Phantom pain can range from mild to severe. It can last from a second to days or even longer. These sensations of phantom pain may have an onset at a different time in different people. It may occur immediately after the amputation has been done or years after the procedure. So the onset may be within a month or so of amputation or a year or two after the procedure. What are the causes of phantom pain? There are multiple factors responsible for phantom pain. The site of amputation or where the amputation pain is occurring is strongly correlated to the development of phantom pain. Phantom pain is also related to the cause for which the limb had to be amputated, such as trauma, cancer, vascular problems, congenital limb deficiency, etc. Some psychological or emotional factors, like anxiety, stress, and memory of pain during the procedure, and depression, also highly contribute to the exacerbation and persistence of the painful sensations of phantom pain. What is the treatment of phantom pain? It is quite a process to find the right treatment to relieve your phantom pain. The treatment is initially done with medications and gradually some non-invasive techniques like acupuncture and physiotherapy are introduced. Invasive options are implanted devices and injections. If nothing is working for a person, surgery is then the last resort to get rid of it. The most recent therapy, mirror therapy, has been introduced. Researchers have found mixed results in controlled trials of mirror therapy in phantom pain. Multidisciplinary measures have helped in achieving the most successful outcomes in this therapy. Pharmacotherapy. It is unlikely for a drug to work for everyone in the same way. So a combination of different drugs is used for different people. Some of the medications are over-the-counter pain relievers, like Tylenol, Ibuprofen, or Aleve. Opioids, like morphine and codeine. Tricyclic antidepressants. Anticonvulsants, like carbamazepine, gabapentin, etc. Sodium channel blockers, like bupivacaine, lidocaine, etc. Beta blockers, like metoprolol or propranolol. Physiotherapy. Prosthesis training. Electroconvulsive therapy. Spinal cord stimulation. Other treatments. Compression on the residual limb. Limb massage and desensitization. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Acupuncture. Relax shock. Heat. Ice. Trigger point release. Education and reassurance. Sensory discrimination training. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.